the leaf base which one is the leaf base let's see this is the leaf base so it is the point where it is attached to the stem so leaf base is the point where the leaf is attached to the stem now it is attached to the stem with the help of this structure which is called the petiole fine petiole is a structure with which which holds the leaf and it is the structure through which it is attached to the leaf is attached to the stem now very important the lamina are also the leaf base lamina or the leaf sorry not base the leaf blade lamina or the leaf blade yes that's the lamina that structure is called the lamina so this whole leaf structure you are seeing okay it's a lamina can you see fine now let's move on this is the bud can you see the bud take a close look a small structure there it's a bud i'll point it out and then rub it off can you see the bud over here yes okay so that's the bud fine now it's not over yet because i'm going to show you some other structures these are called the stipules now take a close look again here can you see a small leaf like structures two are there two such leaf like structures are there these are known as the stipules fine okay these are born laterally great now let me give you some terminologies well you know the leaf base is also known as the hypopodium i'll write it for you hypopodium okay leaf base is also called the hypopodium now the petiole is also called the mesopodium mesopodium fine got it hypopodium mesopodium and the lamina is also called the epipodium epipodium got it hypopodium mesopodium epipodium great now now time to move on well so this is the node you know you know the node at this point of time you have talked about it a lot now well see let's take a real life example this is a picture which is actual a very act, true picture it's an actual image so the stipules can you see the leaf like structures over here yeah these are the stipules that you can see so two lateral leaf like structures present on either side of the leaf base those are the stipules fine now let us talk about more about the structure of the leaf at times some of the plants they have a sheathing leaf base can you see here can you see see that image over there sheath you see the structure has changed a bit it's basically the leaf base here it expands into a sheath it expands into a sheath and may cover the stem wholly or partially see here the leaf base it has expanded into a sheath it was different in the previous image that we have seen now here it has expanded into a sheath it is broadened basically and it may cover partially or wholly the stem generally seen in the monocots the grasses well take a look at this image it will be more clear for you can you see the leaf blade over here the sheath and here is the node fine very simple now let me talk about another type of modification it's again a different form you can see pulvinous you know what is this see the structure can you see the difference well the difference is it's a swollen leaf base in the previous one it was a broadened up it, it has become flattened in the previous one but here pulvinous is basically swollen leaf base found mostly in the leguminous plants the legumes can you see it's swollen it's the pulvinous well great so basically we have talked about these different types of leaf bases leaf base with the stipules leaf like structures born laterally sheathing leaf base and the pulvinous pulvinous basically where it has swollen and sheathing where it forms a sheath it covers partially or wholly the stem can be covered partially or wholly by the sheath now now let's talk about the stalk the petiole yes so the function it helps hold the leaf blade to the light and that's very very important it's because of, of the petiole you know it's a structure which holds the leaf towards the light 
because a leaf lamina it has to be exposed to light why because chlorophyll is there and why chlorophyll is essential and why it has to be exposed to light because light is essential for the process of photosynthesis then only they can synthesize their food autotrophic organisms well so the function is helps hold the leaf blade to the light they are long, thin, flexible petioles. They allow leaf blades to flutter in the wind. Now, can any one of you tell me, is there an advantage of this, this condition? The leaves fluttering in the wind? Let's see who can answer. Is there any reason why the structures have become like this? So that, yeah, it's it's basically the structure is the petiole holds the leaf in such a way that it's it's easy, it's easy and it's relaxed it can flutter in the wind what's the advantage of this let's see how much you're observing so pdl it's basically the stock of the leaf shall I tell you the answer well think about the fact so when wind blows if the leaf leaves flutter that means it's a natural mechanism which helps in cooling down of the leaf thereby it, what happens it brings in fresh air to the leaf surface and that's essential it helps a lot in the gaseous exchange it also helps a lot in transpiration process fine well now let us move ahead let's talk about the lamina now let's talk about the lamina okay the green expanded part of the leaf it's a green expanded part of the leaf now there are many structures over there that we have to study Today, let's see. This is a more clearer and a zoomed picture so that you can understand what are we going to study. I told you, we never have seen the leaves so closely. Today, we are going to see it and observe the structures. So, first, let us see the veins and the veinlets. Do you see the veinlets and the veins over here? Try to differentiate. This is the midrib. So basically, if I take in a reverse way, the midrib, it's the prominent, the most prominent middle vein. That's the midrib. From there, the branching has come up. So let me just darken it for you. These are the veins. Okay. The branching from the midrib. Now from the veins, there are small branches which has come up. And these small branches that you're seeing are the veinlets. Got it? Midrib, then branches, veins, and then further branching, the veinlets. Got it? Okay, great. What is the function of these veins? Simple. These act as channels to transport water, minerals, as well as food. Yeah. So veins, they are basically made up of the xylem and the phloem. We're going to study about it. 